All right, we want to get to some really cool video. This is satellite imagery showing an enormous iceberg nearly the size of London breaking off from Antarctica. Scientists first discovered significant cracks in the ice shelf about a decade ago, but two major breaks have occurred in just the last two years. Joining us now from Cambridge, England, is head of mapping and geospatial group at the British Antarctic Survey, Andrew Fleming. Andrew, thanks so much for joining us. Very late there in the UK. Uh, can you tell us about this discovery now that the ice has broken off? What does this mean? Well, we've been waiting for this for quite some time. We've anticipated it, as you said, for about a decade. Uh, one of our stations uh, actually rests on top of this ice shelf or ice sheet. And um, so we've been monitoring it very closely. And now, finally, the crack has made it all the way across the ice shelf and it's broken off and we have a new iceberg. We have a new iceberg. OK, so here's what I'm curious about. Why did this happen? I mean, we often hear about ice cracking, melting when it comes to climate change. Was this a naturally occurring thing? Should we be worried? Now, in this instance, in this setting, this is an entirely natural event. So as the ice flows off the Antarctic continent, it flows out across the ocean, it forms these floating thick um, sheets of ice. This one's about 150 or 200 meters thick, and they float and um, to maintain some degree of balance, occasionally uh, and irregularly, they break off a piece and, uh, and, and maintain a, a kind of a limited extent. So they don't continue floating and extending forever. Um, this is just one of those events, entirely natural, where um, something's broken off and we that's how icebergs are formed. This one's just very large. It is the size <laughs> of London. Good to hear that this is naturally occurring. So in terms of it not being about climate change, is there, why is there a need and why should we, we, should we be paying attention to this? Well, this is, for us, it's an important location. We've had a, a uh, research station on this, uh, at this location, on this ice shelf for decades now. It's a really important site. Um, it's one of the locations um, that's taken a very long time series of measurements in things like uh, space weather, but also in atmospheric measurements, like ozone measurements. So the discovery of the ozone hole was in large part um, um, derived from or discovered by data that was recorded at this location. So we're keen to maintain uh, the long-term scientific record of observations that are here, and that's why we've um, we've been paying so much attention to it. Obviously, we have a scientific research station on it, and a few years back, because of this crack, because of Chasm 1, which is the dark streak you can see in the animation that you're showing, uh, we had to drag our station about 20 kilometres, so it was the the right side of that crack, but it was done well in advance. As we said, we anticipated this and we have a very, very um, live uh, near real time monitoring system. So we know exactly what's going on. And uh, that, that's why we're interested is to, is to maintain um, that long term record of scientific observations. Great stuff. I'm sure we will be talking to you in the future. Andrew Fleming from the British Antarctica Survey. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.